thinking about the word. Luke 24, 38. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled, and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? In this passage of Scripture, we have two questions that Christ asked of his disciples. To begin with, let's deal with the first one. Why are you troubled? They were troubled because they had difficulty in accepting and understanding all of the things that Christ had said about himself and what would take place after his death on the cross. Have you ever had times when you hear what somebody is saying but you're not listening to what they are saying? I'm afraid to say that I have on many occasions. Seems men are far worse at this than women and since the disciples of Christ were all men. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm talking about. In fact, when we read the beginning of the 24th chapter of Luke, we find that the ladies brought word back to the disciples about what had taken place, and according to Scripture, their words seemed to them as a hollow tales, and they believed them not. Therefore, it appears that the hearts of the disciples were troubled because of unbelief. Christ also asked the following question, Why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Thoughts come from within the heart and mind of men. Therefore, they are tempered with the rationalization and limitations of human thinking. To be able to believe all of what Jesus said and did, we must think outside of the box, outside of what we may think of as humanly possible. When we can do this and think thoughts of faith and on God, we can accept the impossible. We can believe in the supernatural and we can be secure in these thoughts instead of disturbed by all of the thoughts of doubt and worry. Christ expected better of his disciples, but thank God he understands the frailty of our minds and thoughts. Think on this. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. O Lord, help us to be steadfast in our faith and secure in our thoughts of thee and your love for us. Amen.